Right. So tell me something. Um, what do you think is the reason behind the rise in youth crime and violence on the streets of London these days? I guess it's just the like frustration of the, f the fury of living together with people. Too many people together, man. Like different people, everybody. So, bunch together. So you think it's overcrowding? Yeah, it can be. And I've seen a lot of it because children at home easily leaving home. Easily leaving home from their mum and dad, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So what do you think causes the leaving home early? Then they become survival become a survival game for them, isn't it? Don't know, it's like the reasons behind it, okay? The parents let them too leniently go. They leave, leave, let them to go easily. Right. Then that's kind of giving up easily. At 16, 15, they need to be at home, isn't it? Okay, so you think, so you think sometimes the parents let them go way too easy. They, 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 they easy. could take them, keep them at home a bit longer? My mum would keep me at home till I was 18. That's, what, that's when I left. Right. That properly left got my own place. You can't see kids learning to cook before they're 16. Totally look after themselves, you know, buying, shopping every week. I don't know. Okay. Then they find friends on the street. That's the second thing, influences. Right. Bad friends, good friends. But the bad ones, sometimes they take them away further than the good ones. So you feel, so you feel um, they join gangs to get, to get a little bit of a sense of family back? I don't know, man. You could blame, you could blame the family, yeah, they break up a family, so they need to get another one. That's right. what you could say, the parents let them go too easily. That's my point, yeah. Right. Do you think, do you think the police help? Or do you think they make things worse? Yeah, they help, they help them a bit, because they give them advice, don't they? T tell them which corner to go, which youth club, which youth service. Are there any more youth clubs around, though? Mm, less, less. You think that's one of the problems? Could be, yeah. So if the kids had more places to go, then they, then they, then they'd um. They yeah, had more places to, more pamphlets of where to go, when they need it. So like, let's say a club, then if they had a club, or a few choices of different things like sports and social, this could be good for them, innit? Yeah. Like, so if they get into trouble for the parents, or if they got no money for their own accommodation, they don't end up on the street, isn't it? That's what right. I think. So, um, what do you think some of the solutions could be? How do you think we can actually, like, um, you know, reverse reverse the effects that's 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 that's, that's been happening to the well, to the kids? It's like a picnic for them, isn't it? They're out here to see their friends, and their friends are controlling different sh roads. They got a postcode for every friendship, click, gang, click, friendship, click. Hmm. Then they're like, oh, what postcode you in? Then they're chilling in that area. So what's out here for the kids is their friends when they've got no family and they've left home. Yeah. This is the basic thing I'm talking about. But if they don't got friends, then they're going for a long hike. That's either prison and they're on their own. Yeah. So what would you rather, be with their friends or be on a long jail trip? That's long. Well, so they'd rather be with their friends yeah. and now the police picking on them sometimes. But sometimes, sometimes the friends are actually the ones who's leading them on that the, might the journey to ones. that long jail trip. The, the, the friends that lead them from a good bunch of friends first. They never go for a bad bunch first. They go for a good bunch of friends, but there's always one that would lead them astray. You know, like that kind of thing. Mm. So I think it's just they need a, a group of friends. I don't think it's a gang. Mm. I think it's just they need a friend at the minute when they need them, mm. when they lift their mother's house. Otherwise, they're going on a long hike. That, Jail road towards selling drugs, towards prostitution, or be with your friends and socialize. Mm. But when they socialize, police come and say, "Oh, they're disturbing the neighborhood." Mm. But they ain't done much; they're just hanging. Oh yeah. So um. So, what do you so 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 do you think they need more youth clubs? Do you think the police help or hinder the situation? Do you think they should help them more? Right. They don't do it enough to help okay. the ones that have, that have just started to be living on the street. Right. Like 16, 15 is no age to be on the street. So the stop and, so the stop and search stuff in that, do you think, that's, do you think that's, that's, that's justified? There's one thing about stop and search, it's good for everybody. Right. But... In which way? But... In what way is it good They can't just put it on just to like a certain class or colour or say street, 
street um, type, like someone who wears a hood, who got searched him. You could search everybody. Why not everybody? Then everyone feels safer. Why just like this bunch because they're hanging with the hoods on or the Armani's on or the latest designers? I just say they should just keep to themselves out of the street. I think it's for now during these times of Brexit. I think it's time. This times 19, 2019, stay off the streets for now. Stay in a, a friend's house rather than out here. Because they've been mistaken and searched, you know, the black and mixed kids. You know those kind of crews. Yeah. That's enough. That. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough.